Welcome back team. In this video, I'll cover how to lose one stone or 14 pounds in one month. And it might just shock you, but don't worry, I'll tell you exactly what you should be doing. Let's get straight to the point. Hi, I'm Steve, qualified personal trainer from Stag Fitness. And for workouts and nutrition plans, then I've got you covered down below. Losing one stone in a month is a significant goal and it requires a combination of disciplined dieting, consistent exercise and lifestyle adjustments. The key here, as with any weight loss goal, is a calorie deficit, meaning you need to consume fewer calories than you burn. A pound of fat equals roughly 3,500 calories. So to lose 14 pounds to get beach ready for your next holiday, you're looking at creating a whopping total deficit of 49,000 calories over the month. That breaks down to around 1,633 calorie deficit per day if you round it down. But more importantly, it's not a healthy way to lose weight. Don't worry, I'll tell you exactly what you should be doing in just a minute. Just remember, it's not just about a number on the scale, because if you do lose all that weight and it's just muscle or water weight, then you'll probably look just as fat as you did to start with. So it's not just about slashing calories and hitting the gym hard. It's also about making smart, sustainable changes. So here are five tips to get you started. One, focus on your nutrition. Prioritize whole nutrition dense foods that are high in fiber and protein. These foods help you keep full and satisfied making it easier to stick to your calorie goals. Next, hydration is the key. Sometimes our bodies confuse first with hunger. Ensure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day to stay hydrated as it will aid in weight loss as it will prevent you snacking all the time. Consistent exercise. Incorporate a mix of cardiovascular exercises and strength training into your routine. Cardio not just only burns calories, but it also improves your heart's health while strength training can build muscle which can boost your metabolism. Sleep well. Now never underestimate the power of a good night's sleep. Lack of sleep can mess with your hunger hormones and even your motivation to exercise. Stay accountable, keep a food and exercise diary and use an app to track your progress. Being accountable can significantly increase your chances of success. Now what you should be focusing on, if weight loss is your goal, is trying to lose one to two pound a week. I'll move on how to exactly calculate your calories in just a minute. Now while it's possible to lose a stone in the month, it's crucial to talk about why you should be aiming for a one to two pound a week weight loss goal. It's just healthier, more sustainable, and ultimately it's what I recommend to all my clients. Losing weight too quickly and focusing solely on a number on the scale can lead to muscle loss, nutritional deficiencies, and even gallstones. Plus it's tough on your mental health as it requires drastic changes that might not be sustainable in the long run, leading to yo-yo dieting. Remember, it's the fat you want to get rid of. And to do this, you need to burn the fat gradually. Again, there's no point losing a load of water weight if fat loss is your goal and you just look just as fat in the mirror as you started with, even though you may weigh slightly less. Think about the goal you want to achieve before you've even clicked on this video. A more gradual weight loss allows your body to adjust at a healthy pace preserving muscle mass and ensuring you're losing fat instead of just water weight or muscle. It also gives you the time to implement long-term changes to your eating habits and lifestyle, which is the key to maintaining your weight loss. So to lose weight, you need to create a calorie deficit. First, you'll need to calculate your basal metabolic rate, which is the number of calories your body needs to perform basic life-sustaining functions. And just quickly, if this video does help you out, please consider subscribing down below for the latest fitness tech and fitness advice. Plus, feel free to ask me any questions on fitness that will help you on your fitness journey. Now, there's loads of BMR calculators online that use factors like your age, gender, weight, and height to estimate this number. Plus, if you're following one of my workout programs in the Stag Fitness app, then don't stress, this is also included. Plus, it's what your nutrition plan will be based on. Now, once you've worked out your BMR, you need to adjust it based on your activity level, known as your TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure. Your TDEE includes all the calories you burn throughout daily activities and exercise. You'll then want to subtract either 500 or 1,000 calories from your TDEE to lose either one or two pounds a week but you need to ensure you're not going below 1200 calories for women and 1500 calories for men, as this can be unsafe. Now to make things easier for yourself, you don't want to solely focus on just cutting out food alone. So as a general guide for a beginner, you may want to do a workout plan that has a mix of cardio and strength training, which will give you a balanced approach to start. So for cardio, you want to around for 150 minutes a week. 
or 75 minutes of vigorous activity. This can include walking, running, cycling or swimming or incorporate high intense interval training hit sessions around one to two times a week to maximize that calorie burn. Then for your strength training, engage in a full body training exercises at least two to three times per week. Focus on compound movements like squats, deadlifts, bench presses and rows, which work on multiple muscle groups and offer more bang for your buck in terms of calorie expenditure. And make sure to include flexibility exercises and ample time for recovery. You could always do activities like stretching, yoga or pilates, which can improve your range of motion and reduce the risk of injury. While your rest days will allow your muscles to repair and grow stronger. Now losing a stone in a month is a bold goal and it's something 100% wouldn't recommend. Now it can be achievable for some, but it will depend on your starting point. It's essential to focus on making healthy changes that you can maintain for a long term rather than quick fixes. Listen to your body and don't hesitate to consult with a healthcare provider or a nutritionist to ensure your approach is safe and effective. Again, if you're doing one of my programs, you do get a nutrition plan included. Now, if you're looking for the best Garmin watch to help you in the gym, then please check out my next video as that's got you covered. Thanks for watching.